On today's episode of Color Quickie, we're looking at the Benjamin Moore off-white paint color called Fog Mist. Also known as OC31 and 971, if you're looking at the Classics Color Collection by Benjamin Moore. And this is a paint color that is quite popular, both for walls and things like trim and baseboards. So we're gonna talk about it today. And not only that, I'm gonna give you some other paint colors that go really well with it. So you will be equipped with an awesome color palette for your next paint project. If that sounds awesome, press that like button, click subscribe if you wanna stick around for more than one video, and let's get right into it. So Fog Mist, the paint color, has kind of a redundant name when you think about it. Foggy, misty, they're things that are often equated to one another. But what these descriptors do is they help paint the picture of not just a creamy white, but something that's a little more grayed out, a little more toned down. And because of that, this is a paint color that has a surprising amount of colorant in it or depth. And we know this by looking at the colors LRV or the light reflectance value. And if you are new to the channel, the LRV is one thing that I always start with because it's very important. It tells us how light or dark a color appears in practical use. And it does this by telling us how much light it reflects, which in this case, if we look on the Benjamin Moore website, we can see the LRV is 70.15. So basically 70% of the light that hits fog mist is reflected back into the space. And this is important to know because we can tell that this is a lighter color and you should use it in a space that you want to feel lighter. As a color, I would call fog mist a very light version of grayish, which is a combination of gray and a slightly creamy beige coloration. This makes it extremely versatile and very adaptable. Whatever design style you like to employ, whether it's Scandi or traditional or farmhouse, it's gonna work in a variety of situations. And it's also great as a neutral canvas color where if you're the type of person that likes to change things up from time to time, this is a paint color that should work with a number of different decor pieces, furniture styles, flooring, all that good stuff. Now, because it has a 70 LRV and not let's say an 80 or a 90 LRV, it means there's some color to it, which I think is a good thing. It means it's not going to look like a plain white on your walls, like it's basically been unpainted and it's just bare drywall or primer. There is some substance to it. It's also going to cover a little bit better than a much brighter white would. But in the same regard, if you are looking for something more brighter as a white paint color, Fog Mist just ain't it. It's more of a true off-white in my books. I could see this color being being a predominant color or an anchoring main color in a palette. So if you wanted something that can go everywhere or most of the rooms in your home or maybe the large majority of your hallway or foyer, all those open parts of your home, this is a great candidate for that purpose. Now, what about other paint colors that go really well with it? Well, on Color Quickie, I give you two trim color options and three wall color pairings or just accent colors in general. And to start with, let's talk about Mountain Peak White, which is a beautiful, crisp, slightly creamy white. And what I like about it is it kills two birds with one stone. It brings in some warmth, which is awesome because Fog Mist has a bit of that warmth as well. And it brings in that brightness. So you'll have a nice amount of contrast to Fog Mist. If you use Mountain Peak White on your baseboards and your doors and your frames, it's gonna really pop against fog mist, but still tie in with its warmer color temperature. Now, if you wanted a darker trim color or darker woodwork color in general, I would recommend something like Fallen Timber, which is a smoky Nutella brown. <laughs> what I love about it is it's not so warm that it looks a bit cartoonish and, and bright and saturated, but it's also not quite into taupe territory where there's an overabundance of a dark gray that really tones it down or even shades it. This one sits in a nice little pocket where I would definitely still put it in the neutral family of colors. It's not going to stand out too much, but it definitely has a bit of oomph to it. It has some body and richness and a surprising amount of versatility too. Great dark trim color choice. And also if you just wanted a dark door color to sort of contrast against the white trim, that's an option as well. All right, getting into the color pairings, the three wall color pairings that you can use in other rooms of your home or just as alternatives to fog mist wherever you don't feel like using it. Edgecomb gray would be my first choice. This is going to be a slightly darker neutral option. Edgecomb gray is immensely versatile. It is one of my favorite neutrals to recommend to people that don't really know where to start. It has a 63 LRV, so a little more depth to it, a little more richness, but still within that same same grayish kind of family of colors that I really think is awesome. And if you have heard of Revere Pewter, this is the neighbor 
of that color, the lighter variation, but less greeniness in edgecomb gray in my experience because it has that airy quality being lighter. The second color brings in a different hue altogether. It is misted green. So the green that edgecomb gray didn't have, this one has it in abundance, but still neutral enough, has a gray quality, toned down, a little bit muted, also cooled with a very understated blue undertone too, which is really nice. This is a color that you can use in areas where you want a bit of more of a soothing kind of spa-like feel. And that doesn't need to be limited to bathrooms. It could be bedrooms. You could throw it in a family room if you wanted, if you want it to feel a little more chilled out maybe even a kitchen. It's a 46 LRV paint color, so just under the halfway point. So that's pretty good. That means it's going to feel fairly versatile. If you have it in an area that's really dimly lit, you might lose some of it, but in your more well-lit parts of your home, this is a color you can really justify using in a number of spaces. The third color is the darkest color pairing. It is called Silver Streak. And as you can tell, this is a color that's more than just silver. It's quite a bit darker than what I deem as a silver paint color. It has a 20 LRV, nearly 21. So definitely in that bottom fifth. And what that means is this is a color that is going to feel very dramatic and kind of moody. It has a smoky quality to it, but what I really like about it and the reason that I chose it is it almost has this violet undertone, but like a cool kind of violet, which I think is really fun. Sort of plays off of Misty Green's touch of blue. This one almost has a touch of that icy purple. So it kind of feels adjacent, but also quite opposite because purple and green, they sort of are in competition undertone wise, but within the cool side of things. So we started with those warmer leaning colors. We ended with cooler ones. So you have some variety here. You have different things you can play around with. You can keep the color temperatures segregated or mingle them all together. Anyway, here's the palette all together. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you would use these colors. And also don't forget our Patreon where we have exclusive content every single weekend. We also have color quickies personalized for our Prime members every three months. So if there is a color that you really want a palette for, become a Prime member today. Link in the description down below. We got more videos right over here for you.